What does it mean to be a car enthusiast? To someone who isn't one, it simply means you love cars. But there's more. It means it's pretty much all you think about on any given day. So it covers your Instagram feed, your YouTube suggestions. It means putting your personal touch on your car and helping your friends do the same. I've heard stories of people literally eating nothing but noodles for weeks just to get a new wheel setup or new coilovers. You don't wanna buy anything that's not brand new because you don't know where it's been or how it's been treated and you only want the best for your car. And definitely don't buy the cheaper brand because someone will notice. It means you buy the real stuff when you buy car parts, even if it's thousands of dollars more. It means you're not the coolest if your car is an engine swapped or boosted or rocket bunnied. And if you haven't done anything crazy to your car, you need to, right? Wrong, but the internet may have you believe so. See, the internet is dense full of people that are fortunate enough to have the money to do whatever they want whenever they want. And I respect that truly because they worked hard for where they are and what they have. But that doesn't mean that we're all in the same boat. What I'm trying to say is they don't always set the realest example for people like you and me. You don't need a car worth tens of thousands of dollars and to spend twice that on parts just to have a nice car. And I want people to see that. I want people to realize you can still have just as much fun, still have some money left in your pockets tomorrow when you wake up, and still build an amazing car. I want to set the example of not being made fun of for buying the cheaper knockoff brand. Because you don't have to just to be cool. You don't have to spend all the money and you don't have to do these things you see people doing on the internet. And like I say, I respect them because they worked for what they have, but for you and me, we might not be able to spend the kind of money that they spend. So let me give you a quick rundown. When we bought the car parts on Wish and we did that whole video in telling you guys about how they worked and how they last and stuff, I realized that there's a huge group of people that are generally interested in cheap car parts. And not only that, but a lot of you guys commented and said like, yeah, hey, I've got car parts off there recently and they're actually not too bad. And on the other side, I put those car parts on my car and they actually turned out to be way better than I thought and I, I realized there's a huge market that we're missing. There's quality parts, sure they may not be real, they may be knockoff, they may just be sold in bulk, who really knows, but they're good and they work. And so that led us here and we're going to build an entire car from websites like Wish and eBay AliExpress and any other websites that you guys comment that you think are good to get budget car parts on and we're not just gonna do a budget build we're gonna build the entire car from used parts that we find out of wreckers on eBay wish like I said all those websites that's where the entire car will come from and that's basically what we're doing here so we're gonna show people that it doesn't matter how much you spend on the car how much you spend on the parts we're gonna build a sick car and we're gonna make it so that when you go to a car meet and someone doesn't know us and they look at the car, they go, damn, that's a nice car. Little do they know that the entire thing was built on budget websites. And this does not hinder any 240 building, any BRZ building. This doesn't do anything. If anything, it just adds more content for you guys. So you guys should just be excited. You'll get at least another video a week, which will be awesome for you. Before I show you guys the car, if you are not following me on Instagram, go do that right now because you guys play a big role. And I like to let my, my followers, my subscribers help me make decisions. So you guys know there was hundreds of comments on my last couple videos asking you guys what kind of car should I get for a budget build. And you best believe that I, I literally sorted through those and got the car that I actually wanted the most but also ended up coming out on top through comments which just happened to be perfect for me. And I also ask you guys on Instagram. Everybody on Instagram gets a little bit of, of an early sneak peek. They get to make decisions that you guys maybe don't on the videos. So if you're not following me, go follow me there because you guys will heavily influence this build. And of course, if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now so you don't miss a minute of the build. I think that's enough talking, so without further ado, this is my new car. So this is a 1993 Civic hatchback, it's a CX, so it's like a base base model, has nothing. No power steering, no AC, nothing, which is great fuel economy, but that's about it. And this is going to be the base of the entire build. So this car is 100% stock, it's, oh, let me show you a little bit. So this car has its fair share of scuffs and dents. It's been in the city its whole life, so it's got a lot of little dings all over it. It's been hit and whacked a couple times. It has a trailer hitch, I don't know why, apparently there used to be a bike rack there, but that needs to go. It's got the upgraded mud flaps, these are OEM, but other than that, it's it's a completely raw car. It's a five-speed manual, completely stock. The interior is mint, except this little tear in the seat here, but that doesn't matter because we'll get new seats anyway. And the only thing is there's like a tiny little bit of fender rust here, but we're gonna, we're gonna do some stuff, so that doesn't really matter. That was like okay when we bought it. We weren't really too worried about it. But yeah, that's it. So this was the, there was two cars that were really, really big on the YouTube channel and both Instagram. 
and there was like a fight between this car and an MK4 Jetta slash Golf. I really wanted one of these because these are kind of more rare, I feel like, to see on the streets. So sure, there may not be as many people building Golfs and Jettas and stuff on YouTube, but I feel like this was like, this I already loved. And when you guys had it like almost tied for first place, I just, I could not do it, so we went ahead. Me and Emerson went downtown just to look at it, and we were driving it, and Emerson's like sitting here, like leaning on the dash. He's like, we need to buy this car, it's awesome. And it's nothing special, but it's so fun to drive. This car is, it, it, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a blast. And it's an amazing platform to do a build like this for you guys, because parts are gonna be so cheap. There's so much stuff out there that we'll be able to find and do to this car for a relatively low price. And that's why we snagged this car. And so we're not gonna include the price of the car in like the total build cost like I said this car was $800 so just keep that in mind but then we're gonna do the entire build from wish and all the other websites if you guys have budget websites comment them down below um, that we may be able to look into and use but also I may have showed you guys this already but lots of people don't understand or didn't know the fact that these old civics actually have tailgates so when you pop the trunk the glass comes up in one piece and this drops like a tailgate and that blew Emerson's mind and a lot of people don't know it does that so I just thought I'd share that with you guys but it's it's completely stock I think it's even got the original clutch and it's it hasn't been completely destroyed like a lot of other cars out there this car is still it would be a cool build but just to restore it but that's not what we have in plans for it it's got its share of missing trim pieces and ones that kind of pop out a little bit but it'll be all right and that's really it this video there's not a there's not a whole lot to cover in this video this is the car it's done nothing but make us smile every time we drive it it's a it's a blast. We've had it for a couple days. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys would know these things. This car's gonna blast so far, and I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of this entire build. Like I said, this build is just gonna be to show you guys that you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to have a nice car. And that's all we're gonna cover in today's video. I just want to introduce you guys to the car, let you know about the new build that's about to be happening. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you're following everything everywhere so that you're always up to date. This is gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out and stay committed.